Hi again then guys and welcome to another speed tune of course for Forza Horizon 4 this time for what is without you know special tunes and glitches and that kind of stuff pretty much the fastest car you can get through legitimate tuning and that is the Jag D-Type one of the very few vehicles to break 300 miles an hour and it breaks it fairly easily as well actually now as far as handling of course it cannot match up to most of the hypercars so I don't personally tend to use it that often but as you can see from the spec it's pretty fast, 3.7 to 100, 1.5 to 60, 300 miles an hour. Now the interesting thing is, if you choose to use this tune, and I do have two different versions on my storefront, I've got one which has racing tires and one which has drag tires, is that usually drag tires aren't really worth it because they improve your acceleration, but not necessarily top end speed, plus they make the handling significantly worse. So I don't usually recommend them. For this car though, they actually give you about another two miles an hour on the top speed, up to about 302, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> now, the handling is not great, but it's not great anyway, so you need to decide which one you'd rather have. Or, of course, you could just download both and try them out and see which you prefer. Now, for this one, I have fitted racing tyres, as you can see in the background, but as far as the rest of the upgrades go, for the parts, it's fairly obvious. Drop the weight as much as you can. You want to convert it to the V10 engine with all-wheel drive. Of course, give it as, mu as much power as you can. It's over 1,200 horses. All the rest is fairly self-explanatory. I would not recommend fitting the wings, though. The front chin splitter or the rear wing, it's not necessary. You can sometimes with speed tunes, but I wouldn't recommend it. I like to go like visually cleaner than that. As far as the gearing goes, though, I'd recommend a final drive of 2.85. Then for the individual gears, it's pretty simple. 2.9, 2, 1.5, 1.18, 0.96, and 0.76. So actually similar to quite a few of my other tunes because those settings work fairly well for most cars. As far as alignment, we've got two degrees of camber, of course, because it's a fairly skittish car. We've got seven degrees of caster, anti-roll, anti even not Andy roll <laughs> is 25 front and rear. Springs are 110, 105, the lowest ride height on the front and the back. As far as dampers, that's on 12 and then 6 and 5 for the bump stiffness. Aero, of course, is not applicable. And as far as the diff, we've got 100% on the acceleration bias, 0 on the decel. And for this one, 70% balance going to the back end. You could go further back if you want to loosen up the steering more, but I don't think that's going to be an issue for most people. So that's it for the build. But now, of course, what you want to see is it actually doing that in action. Now this car does suffer from one of the issues which a couple of vehicles do and that is it's got phenomenal acceleration up to around you know 260 270 but then that extra little bit of speed takes a little bit longer than some so i would love to hear down below what your record with the car is of course using this tune maybe your own but in particular i would love to hear what you do with this setup but of course make sure you hit that notification bell down below for more of my tunes and stick around on the channel for those but for now as always Thanks for watching.